Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to have a mousetrap contest where we set up five different mousetraps in the barn all at once in a row to see which ones catch more mice. And these are all 3D printed mousetraps. Recently, a YouTube viewer named Isaac, who has a 3D printer, invited me to his house to show me how you take a file on a computer and turn it into a 3D printed mousetrap. Layer after layer, you print out the mousetrap, and I have several different designs I want to test out. We're going to see which one works best, so let the competition begin. So here's mousetrap number one in our contest. Online, it's known as the better mousetrap for a 3D printer. And it consists of a bracket that fits on a bottle and a trap door that closes when the mouse enters. Now in the comment section, people give me a hard time with what I call these bottles. Some people call them soda bottles or Coke bottles, but I grew up calling them pop bottles. We're gonna go ahead and attach the trap door to the pop bottle. You can see how the door spins. Now I did add weight in here. I didn't have the foreign coin that was in the pitcher, so I added a washer. Now we'll attach the bracket to the pop bottle. There's a round in on bottom so it rocks. It fits in like this. To set the trap, you push the back of the bottle and lift the door. The mouse will enter trying to get the bait, and as it does, the door closes. Let's go get a pet mouse and see what happens. Go on inside. The next mouse trap we're going to test out is a funnel style mouse trap. Online it's known as the bottle living mouse trap and it's similar to a mouse trap I already featured an antique version known as old tom. They screw onto a fruit jar and the mouse or rat tries to get the bait inside. When they enter they can't get back out because of the spikes. Now these have threads and they screw into a bottle or a box created by the YouTube viewer Isaac. It was pretty customized. He put the mouse trap Monday logo in back. We have his sticker right there. We'll go ahead and put the lid in. Well, it looks like it might work. Let's get our pet mice and see what happens. Well, the mouse has no problem going in. The question is, will it keep it in? Mouse trap number three is a fun idea. It's an exercise wheel mouse trap. The mouse enters right here, and when it does, the wheel spins and then it settles with the hole right here above this plate so the mouse can't get out. Now the idea of using an exercise wheel for a mouse trap is not new. A very old style mouse trap is this. It's known as the fairy. It has a cage in front that catches the mouse and then all night long the mouse will spin running. It actually is quite squeaky and that way you can hear when you catch a mouse. So it's not a completely brand new idea but the 3D printed version is a fun design. Let's get our pet mice and see if they want some exercise. Mouse trap number four is pretty simple. It consists of a tunnel with an angle and a door. It's called the tilt and trap. The mouse enters and when it does, the tunnel shifts and the door closes. Now the door swings pretty freely, so I'm concerned the mice might lift it up and escape, but we'll have to see. Let's go get our pet mouse and see if it gets tilted and trapped. Our final mouse trap is another pop bottle mouse trap. It's customizable and it's called the Simplest Mouse Trap V3. The pop bottle snaps in the back of the trap. You have to get the balance point just right. There's lines here for this one. You can see how that's a teeter-totter going up and down. And when it closes, the mouse can't get out. But when it's up, the mouse can enter right here. We'll include a ramp. The mouse will go in there, try to get the bait in the back. And when it does, it will drop down. So the whole time, the mouse will be running back and forth, but it can't get out. Now I already featured a mouse trap similar to this and it worked very well. It was a bigger version with a two liter bottle, but we'll see if this works. Let's go get our pet mouse and see if they teeter totter. So now that we've seen our five 3D printed mouse traps, we're going to go set them up in the barn with motion cameras and test them out on wild mice. Leave a comment down below, let me know which one you think is going to work best.
So after setting up our mouse traps for three nights in a row, we don't have a single mouse to show for it. Some of them trapped the mice, but they didn't keep them for very long. The least effective were the bottle with the spiky lid. That was more like a feeding station. Those spikes weren't sharp enough to keep the mice inside. All night long they went in there, got the bait, and crawled out. And also the exercise wheel. It's way too sensitive, and the mice checked it out by spinning it without going inside. So again, we didn't even catch a single mouse with this one. Now our tilt trap actually did catch a mouse. It went in there and the door closed, but the door is so easy to open, it didn't keep the mouse very long. Now our final two were most impressive. We did catch a mouse on the second night with the bottle tilt trap, but if you look right here, the mouse chewed it and got out. And even though all our traps were a failure, here's the winner of our contest, because it caught the mouse for the longest period of time. A mouse went in there, tipped the bottle, the door closed, and another mouse tried to help it. It tried to open the door, for about an hour, it worked on that door. And from the inside, the mouse chewed. Right here, there's quite a bit of damage. Eventually, it was able to lift up the door and escape. Well, usually at this time, I do a Q&A where I answer questions from viewers. But instead, I'm gonna explain some changes I'll be making to my channel in the near future. I'm gonna be posting more often, but shorter videos for a very specific reason. It all has to do with this COVID-19 and how it's affected the world economy. There's so much fear and uncertainty out there. I have family members who have been laid off, friends who have had to close their business doors and they don't know how they're gonna pay the bills in the future. And here on YouTube, I've seen a huge hit. In the last month, the revenue I make from my videos has dropped by over 50% and it appears to keep going down. I don't know what the bottom is. I actually have a channel manager, someone that works at YouTube and we were looking at analytics. Most of the people only watch the first five minutes or less of my videos. So having shorter videos with more people watching might really help my channel. Plus I'll be able to put more content every Monday and Friday. Thank you so much for the support. People have been watching my channel for years and years. I've been posting videos on YouTube for almost nine years now and I have over 600 videos. So thank you so much for watching, tuning in and soon you can tune in twice a week. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button right here. And if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, foals, and gophers, stay tuned.